Let's take a look at some cultural news now. October is known in Korea as a month for festivals, and one of the most popular is a special lantern festival in the southern city of Jinju. Our Kim mo tells us more. In the late 1500s, when Korea was invaded by Japan, lanterns were used as part of a military strategy to prevent Japanese troops from wading across the Namgang River. The tradition of floating lanterns down the Namgang River continued long after the war to remember the lives of those who fought for the nation. Today, the custom has developed into a cultural festival that lights up the city and attracts visitors from far and wide. The lanterns on display reminded me of my childhood days. I hope students and visitors have fun here and learn a lot at the same time. This year, more than 70,000 lanterns are being lit up across the city for two weeks under the theme of traditional customs of Korea. We tried to improve the quality of the lanterns, especially those that represent Korean culture. Also, in order to promote the event globally, we also installed famous world landmarks, such as the Eiffel Tower in France. Visitors can see themselves in the middle of Aesop's fables, alongside popular cartoon characters, and they can even travel back to ancient Korea. A must-do ritual here at the festival is to write your own wish and hang it in the tunnel of wish lanterns or float it along the Namgang River. Organizers say with more than 3 million people visiting the festival every year, it has now positioned itself as one of the nation's best festivals to visit. This year's event, the 18th of its kind, will run through the end of this week. Kim Mo-gyeon, Arirang News, Jinju.